best omakase in Miami. Just a few years back, say the word omakase to somebody in Miami and they'd probably assume you made up a new Spanglish word. We love our sushi spots in Miami, so it's no surprise that the concept where a meal is handed to you piece by piece by a sushi chef landed hard. In this video, we'll share with you 10 of the best omakase in Miami that are perfect for all budgets and all types of cuisine. So, without wasting any more time, let's jump to the video. Number 10, Hayakawa, the Wynwood restaurant draws from the eateries of Ginza, Tokyo's posh entertainment district. It's upmarket but not stuffy, and so is the omakase experience. Priced at $250, it includes four appetizers, 10 pieces of nijirai, one maki, a miso soup and a dessert. Number 9, Shingo, while other omakase experiences these days bring in fusion flavors and thumping music, Shingo is a serious affair that feels like a visit to the Church of Sushi. Formerly the head chef of Haydn when it won a Michelin star, Chef Shingo Akikuni is behind the counter here, deftly slicing fish imported from Japan. Number 8, Haydn, one of the first hidden omakase restaurants on the scene, Haydn is tucked behind Wynwood's taco stand, past an unmarked door that guests need a pasco to enter. Punch in the numbers sent with your reservation confirmation and you'll find an 8-seat counter. Number 7, Mila Omakase. Hidden below Lincoln Road's ultra-trendy Mila Rooftop Lounge, Mila Omakase delivers everything you'd expect from a high-end chef's counter experience and a few extras you'll hate to live without going forward. The second-floor room curtained off from the dimly lit, members-only MM Lounge is highly exclusive. Number 6, Inaoi, you can thank Kevin Corey for bringing Omakase to Miami. For more than 10 years, the chef-slash-owner has been skillfully at work in his Brickell Key restaurant, in Aoi, and is among the few to repeatedly receive a rare Forbes Travel Guide 5-star. Number 5, Sushi by Scratch, Sushi by Scratch doesn't bother trying to be authentically Japanese. It's not stuffy, like those omakase places that feel as fun as a German art museum, where you'll whisper to your dining companions out of fear of offending the knife-wielding chefs right in front of you. Number 4, Omakase by Kazu, after a 25-year career behind sushi counters, sushi chef Yoshikazu Ebonano has his own place, a six-seat counter behind Hakadori Ramen. The 15-course menu leans toward traditional and changes nightly with what seafood arrives that day from Japan. Number 3, Sushi by Boo, raised in Boca and trained in Japan, sushi chef David Bohadana now has more than a dozen Sushi by Boo restaurants, including an intimate, 650-square-foot space with just 12 seats at the SLS Brickell. The place hits all the notes that have made Omakase popular. Number 2, Mr. Omakase. A welcomed alternative to the stuffier Omakase spots in Miami, Mr. Omakase is a laid-back counter-style restaurant in the heart of downtown. Here, sushi chefs roll maki to an old-school hip-hop soundtrack while folks look on from the 8-seat bar. Number 1, Achi Miami, Chef Tyson Cole's legendary sushi restaurant from Austin offers an omakase that's a frequently changing selection of cold and hot plates as well as sashimi. Items are seasonal and fresh but some past favorites you might expect to see are the wagyu ringo and curry cauliflower with raisins, gruyere, and cashews. Make sure to check the description box for all the links regarding the mention. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. We will be back with more videos soon.